Uh, so congratulations on the film. It Great. is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is Thanks. such a unique project in terms of the casting and, and everything else. I mean, to be in this project, it must have been an amazing experience for you as an actor. You know, when, when I saw the script, it was a strong script, and I knew how Sean was going to make it. He was going to mix real elements with fictional elements. We were going to shoot in an actual motel that really was the world that we're talking about. And right alongside us, uh, helping us make the movie, playing extras, uh, and also participating were the residents of this world, this world of uh, people that lack a permanent residence that are living this precarious life of living week to week in these, you know, six to a room, sometimes four to a room in these uh, budget tourist motels. And you, I mean, you've worked with some amazing directors in your time, Oliver Stone, Sam Raimi, many, many more. What was it like working for someone like Sean Baker, who's an upcoming director, and he's made such a big impact in such a short space of time? You know, he's baby-faced. He's been around for a while, and he's <laughs> made some good good movies. Um, he's a little bit under the radar because he's making movies that sometimes don't have, um, you know, uh, they deal with people on the margins, and they're slightly more complicated stories, tougher uh, commercially. But he's he's a uh, he's a very accomplished filmmaker and he, very assured, very uh, thoughtful and and the way he worked with those kids in particular was fantastic. Had a real understanding and balanced a certain kind of joy with a certain kind of um, gravity, and that's tricky. So he was great. Also, you know, I'm always attracted to writer, director, and he's also the editor. So he's he's a one man band. He has a co-writer, and uh, of course the DP, Alexis Sabe, was very important. Movies are always a collaboration, but it's this, this movie is very much uh, Sean's vision and very much Sean's baby, and I think he did beautifully. I read as well that you spent some time in and around those areas just before shooting. I mean, was that important to kind of get a grasp on Bobby and the Sure. Surroundings? I didn't know this world. Uh, strangely enough, um, I have family that lives in that area, but I didn't know this world. I mean, they're middle-class people. These people are really struggling. And, and as, we've, as maybe it's been expressed before, it's a hidden, uh, it's a hidden population. It's, uh, it's very much hidden, uh, almost clandestine. <laughs> Because in order to make ends meet, sometimes they have to, you know, they get involved in a grift or they have to figure out, you know, how to work things. So it always puts them very close uh, to being outside the law. Uh, obviously, this cast is very unique in that there's upcoming actors, there's unexperienced actors, but you all seem to gel so, so well. I mean, that must have been great for you as an actor, as a seasoned actor, to be in with, with these guys and gel so brilliantly. It's, it's, you know, it's fun to work with people that come from... A range of experiences you know when everybody's kind of wants the same thing or is motivated by the same things or thinks the same way you get a kind of uniformity that doesn't challenge you and also can deaden things sometimes it can make it work you can get you're closer to a, a feeling of is that all there is you know and you're always looking for that wonder I mean what drives any kind of creative endeavor, what drives making something, what drives performing is always this sense of wonder, the sense of discovery and the sense of learning something. And you can only find that, I think, or I can only find it, I can only speak for myself, um, you know, when, when you mix it up with people that are different than you. And then you realize how much they're like you. <laughs> and uh, you also realize that you know, you put restrictions on yourself, restrictions on your thinking and restriction on how to work, and when you mix it up like that, it explodes those things, so you feel free, and then you can even surprise yourself because you're not going to the things that you know already, you're going toward things that you're learning. So there's a different energy, there's a different hope, there's a different kind of, I'll even go far, humanity to all that, and I think that feeling informs this film. Uh, you've, uh, this, this year marks, I think it's 15 years since Spider-Man, which is kind of a big trend set in the comic book world. <laughs> wow, anniversaries and then, already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and obviously now you're going into Aquaman, which is you know this big another big universe mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like stepping back into a comic book wo world, and what can we expect from Aquaman? Because it looks a little bit different to everything else. It, it, you know, every move is different, and when you say step back in the comic book world, I've been in a few movies that felt like comic books <laughs> since then. <laughs> Um, 
No, it was great. I mean, James Wan's, uh, James Wan, the director, is, is a really strong filmmaker. It's complicated uh, uh, because there's a lot of underwater stuff. Um, but the fun thing is it's a different way of working because you're working very closely with effects. You have to. Uh, you're in harnesses a lot of the time. You're floating around. You're flying around. This is fun, but it's also challenging. Um, so, like everything, uh, you reinvent how you work and you find the places that, you know, you find pleasure and the places you don't find pleasure, you try to minimize. That's all, you know. Um, it felt good. Yeah. Uh, it's, it should be an interesting movie. And you got Murder on the Orient Express as well, which Murder is on lots, the of Orient people, Express. lots of people in that one. I mean, Johnny yeah, Depp, fantastic cast. Ken, Ken Branagh, uh, you know, here we are in London. I can't say enough about him. Um, really, it was a great experience, and, and he's a uh, great director, and uh, I haven't seen it yet. But uh, the experience of making it was really fun and a, a good script. Uh, it should be good. It should be a lot. It should be a fun movie. Yeah, I'm looking forward to all of good. them. Good. Listen, good. congratulations on this one. It's right. absolutely Thanks fantastic. So Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!